Welcome back to Fast Gadgets. So today I want to talk about installing the Bash Shell, the Ubuntu or Ubuntu Bash Shell, as some of you like to say, into Windows 10. And it's really not that difficult. There's only about three things that you do need to do in order to get it working correctly, but it is really useful if you don't have time to go into Linux. Um, or run a virtual machine and you just need a bash shell. It's been very useful for me uh, in lecturing so I use it quite frequently if I'm in Windows and it's just something that is really nice to have as a feature. So to get us started I'm gonna go into settings and update and security and I'm gonna to go to four developers and I had to turn on developer mode and you probably will have to reboot after you turn on developer mode and then the second thing you do is go into programs and you wanna to go to turn Windows features on or off and eventually this screen will come up and if you scroll all the way to the bottom you should see a Windows subsystem for Linux beta. So we're gonna click the Windows subsystem for Linux. I already have it selected because I've already installed it. Just go ahead and say okay to that. And we can close settings. And then finally, we're gonna run the bash shell. And at first you have to agree to the terms and so we click yes then it will download the software from the Windows Store and this can take a little while once it's all done downloading the first thing you're gonna have to do is create a new user so in just a few seconds here it's gonna prompt us to create a user and it does not have to be the same as your Windows login it can be any uh, username you want to create and you put in a password so once you're logged in the first thing you see is that the directory that you're in is actually your mount folder in your Linux virtual environment and it's letting you see your Windows directory so you can manipulate files and folders in the Windows directory as far as I know I haven't done a whole bunch with it just yet so do be careful um, a a CD to tilde of course will take you to your home directory and for the most part the file structure is exactly the same as it is with any Linux system or I should say specifically with the Ubuntu Linux system so overall pretty easy to set up great tool to have and I personally have found it very useful for me when I'm working with students so hopefully you found this video useful if so let me know like and subscribe drop me a comment if you will and if you didn't like it well you can drop me a comment for that too and I'll see you next time on fast gadgets